So instead of trying to nail down some absolute fair value, which honestly can feel like chasing a ghost sometimes, WS is looking at this market average value. Where does that actually come from? What is it telling us? Good question. So the researchers lean on the Olson model. It's a pretty well-regarded framework. It basically helps us understand how things like a company's future earnings potential and the market's required return should affect its stock price. Okay. But then they do something really interesting. Every single month, they look at a huge number of stocks and they see how their actual prices line up with their fundamentals, you know, earnings, book value, that kind of stuff. Pairing them all cross-sectionally. Exactly, cross-sectionally. And to make sure outliers don't skew things too much, they use this statistical method called Tileson regression. It makes it more robust. Makes sense. So the price they'd expect for a stock based on these broad market relationships they find that month, that's what they call the market average value. Okay, so it's like a dynamic benchmark, constantly <laughs> updated based on how the market is pricing fundamentals right now. You got it. And the price wedge is then just how far the actual price is from that benchmark price. Almost. It's actually calculated as that market average value divided by the observed stock price. But yeah, it captures that deviation. Got it. So a big difference there hints at potential mispricing. That's the idea behind the wedge itself. But the real key for spotting potential mispricing in this paper is the price wedge shock. And that's simply the difference between the current price wedge and its average over the last three months. So the change is the crucial bit. It's not just about a stock being consistently different, but a sudden shift in that relative pricing. Exactly. That's the shock element. So a positive WS means it's suddenly gotten cheaper relative to that market implied value. Undervalued, perhaps. That's the suggestion, yes. A positive WS suggests potential undervaluation relative to its recent history and the market. And a negative WS? Suggests the opposite, relative overvaluation. The whole point of looking at this change, the shock, is to try and filter out, you know, those stable company things. Like maybe it always trades at a premium for some reason. Precisely. Filter that out and focus on the new information, the shift, which might be a sign of, well, actual mispricing.